Jeremiah 10 2-6 Remove thy yuletide log. Jeremiah 10 2-6 One thus says the Lord, Learn not the way of the nations. Nor be dismayed at the signs of the heavens because the nations are dismayed at them. Three for the customs of the peoples are vanity. A tree from the forest is cut down and worked with an axe by the hands of a craftsman. For they decorate it with silver and gold, they fasten it with hammer and nails so that it cannot move. Five their idols are like scarecrows in a cucumber field, and they cannot speak. They have to be carried, for they cannot walk. Do not be afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither is it in them to do good. Six there is none like you, O Lord. You are great, and your name is great in might. Christmas time is supposed to be a Christian holiday to remember the birth of Christ Jesus. The holiday itself has its roots coming from two separate ancient winter solstice holidays, one derived from the Roman Empire called Saturnalia, the other celebrated by the rest of the European continent, was called Yule. The traditions of both holidays make up what today is Christmas. The people who study history know this, and even Bible scholars know as well. The only difference is that historians know Christmas is pagan, and some Christians are naive. Gift exchanging, hanging wreaths, and large banquets come from Saturnalia, but provides the traditions of Christmas trees, mistletoe, caroling, and Santa Claus, Father Christmas. Saturnalia took place between December 17 to 22. It was a 12-day event from December 21st to January 1st. It comes from an Anglo-Saxon word meaning wheel, and it represents the cycle of a year. Winter solstice was the end of a long night and the beginning of more daylight, New Year. Since the European continent is so wide, different gods were worshipped. Odin who was Norse god, and Modranic, who is Mother Earth. Odin was normally the figure who visit homes at night and give children gifts, Santa Claus. The logs were a big part of the festival because they burn longer. Candlelit evergreen trees are used for in-house decorations, and candles all over. Bonfires were part of the event, fires on graves to warm up, dead relatives. They fear ghosts, evil spirits, and witches. The Yule holiday was also a time when trying to communicate to the dead soul and even leave food out to eat while the family slept. The novel A Christmas Carol by Charles Dixon borrows the idea of ghosts from the past, present, and future and doesn't really have anything to do with Jesus Christ. When Christianity expanded to Northern Europe, the tradition of Yule was used and transformed into remembrance of Christ's birth. It seems okay to use a pagan holiday to teach about Jesus Christ and his gift of salvation. It's unfortunate that some children love Santa Claus more than Jesus. It is taught Santa Claus knows when you have been bad or good, but scripture says the same about Jesus. Santa Claus gives worldly material gifts, Jesus gives everlasting life. An evergreen tree in the house with candles on it can cause a house fire, Jesus Christ in the heart and set a soul on fire. Has the Christmas spirit spread peace and joy to the world, or is it just vain worship the suicide rate is at its highest during the Christmas season? Why is that? Is there really peace on earth? A joy to the world? Is the love of God really felt within the Christmas spirit? Are Emmanuel God and his word in us, or is the holiday of Christmas so vain, that what is on sale for Black Friday, and the price of redemption and salvation? It would be wonderful if the gift of God's love, Christ Jesus, than a traditional solstice holiday. God bless you all. Jesus the wonderful counselor, loves you, and so do I. Samuel Head, a bondservant of the Lord. Mark 7 6 And he said to them, Well did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, seven in vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. 8 You leave the commandment of God and hold to the tradition of men.